Hello and thank you for joining us on The Extra Point, your only place for local high school sports and activities. I'm your host Dolly Fonseth and yes folks, spring is upon us. We're here at Northridge High School where we're going to kick off our spring season by talking to the girls tennis team. But first we did have cameras out last week and we have got some highlights. Let's take a look. An early season Crosstown Rivals matchup as the Greeley Central Wildcats faced off against the Greeley West Spartans. The Spartans spent a lot of time in the Wildcats half of the field. Central goalie Kelsey Cousins was working overtime to keep the Spartans from scoring. Here she turns back Peyton McGee's scoring attempt. The Wildcats offense had their chances too. Kendra Steppen will make the pass to an open Anna Hoyt but the timing just is a little off. And that's pretty much how the first half went, as both teams had chances but just could not find the back of the net for a goal. In the second half, the Spartans came out firing. Sarah Gent will take aim with this blast, but her shot sails wide. Then at the 58th minute mark, Katie Weber will drop this ball deep into Wildcat territory. Sarah Gent will sprint past the Wildcat defense and net this one for a goal, and a one to nothing lead for West. Central would come charging right back. Amanda Cope with a great chance to tie this game, but Spartan goalie Sydney Brown gets the save. This game would go down to the final seconds as the Wildcats made a furious charge, but the Spartans would hang tough, and Greeley West pulls this one out with the one to nothing victory over Greeley Central. Fresh off their win over Central, the Greeley West Spartans were back in action against the visiting Thompson Valley Eagles. This game was almost a carbon copy of the Central game as both teams played lights out defense in the first half. Once again, Spartan goalie Sydney Brown came up big. The Spartans had a couple of great scoring chances early in the game. Danny Wynn with a chance here, but her shot is stopped. A little later in the first half, Allison Retmer will get behind the Thompson Valley defense. She moves in, but her shot just isn't high enough to get past the Eagles goalie. While the Spartans offense was still looking for their first goal of the night, the Spartans defense was keeping them in this game. West shut down the Thompson Valley attack, keeping them out of the net for the first half of the game. In the second half, Spartans goalie Sydney Brown continued her stellar play as she kept the Eagles off of the scoreboard. West would finally get on the board in the second half as Peyton McGee and Katie Weber would each score for the Spartans. And those two goals would send the Spartans on to victory as they get the two to one win over Thompson Valley. Moving on to the baseball diamond with the Greeley West Spartans in action at Butch Butler Field against the visiting Westminster Wolves. In the top of the first inning, Westminster would put one run on the board, thanks to some good hitting and base running. But the Wolves would not have that lead for long. In the bottom of the first, the Spartans would answer right back. Grant Buchanan gets things going for the Spartans with this triple. Next batter up, Austin Miller, and he will bring Buchanan home with this RBI single, and West ties the game at one to one. West will take the lead on this Taylor Juarez RBI single to make it two to one. A wild pitch later in the inning would bring in another run, and at the end of one inning of play, it was three to one West. In the top of the second, Westminster would answer right back with three runs of their own as the Wolves roughed up the Spartans pitcher, Taylor Juarez. But Juarez would settle down and get out of the inning and kept it a four to three game. The Spartans would take that lead right back in the second inning. Alex Retmer gets things going for West with his solo homer to left and that ties the game at four apiece. Austin Miller would continue his big day at the plate Another RBI single that scores James Dalgan, and the Spartans go up 5-4. to four. Nate Lorera would also come up big for the Spartans, as he would go 4-5 for five with four RBIs on the day. 
This RBI single would give the Spartans a 6-4 lead after two innings. There were plenty of hits to go around for the Spartans. Alex Rutmer fell a single short of the cycle, and Austin Miller added three hits as the Spartans roll to the 18-7 win over Westminster. Folks at home, we hope you enjoyed those highlights. I know I most certainly did. Now, folks, do you have a favorite team? Would you like to see their standings? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at those standings. And when we come back, we're talking Northridge Grizzlies girls tennis right here on the Extra Point. Welcome back to the show, folks. I'm joined now with Kay Hansen, the head of the Northridge girls tennis team. Thank you so much for coming out here and, you Thank know, you. taking time out of your practice. I know you're out there sweating up with those girls. So, um, but why don't you tell everybody at home a little bit about how you, Kay, got started in the tennis program here at Northridge? Well, I coached uh, 20 years volleyball at Bertha High School, and I came over here for the last 10 years and I coached volleyball for my first four years and then decided to try something different. And tennis was one of the things I hadn't done. So I was the assistant coach under a couple other coaches. And when they both left, I decided to take on the head position to finish out my coaching career. Coach Hansen, you're halfway through your season. Why don't you tell me, what are you doing to condition your girls to really, you know, get them going for the rest of the season? Well, we do both long distance training just for weight control and to work on cardiovascular for tournaments. And then we do a lot of footwork, fast feet uh, type activities because tennis is a fast muscle fiber sport. So that's um, where we're working on right now. But a lot of them came in, this is their first sport ever, so they weren't in shape. So we had to work on just getting their cardiovascular systems going. Coach Hanson, why don't you tell us a little bit about what, how your team is made up? Um, do we have any returning players? Um, how many people or gals do you have on your team? Well, currently we have 13 total players, so we have a, a full team and a JV team. Um, it's up from last year. Last year we didn't even fill our team. Uh, we had to forfeit usually four doubles throughout the season, which is really hard to win matches when you have to forfeit one. But right now we have um, five fairly strong players that are returning, none of them being seniors, though. We still have a lot of sophomores and juniors, and we have a crew of freshmen that have come out, but the problem is none of them have touched a racket before, so we have to start at the beginning teaching them the basics. Uh, the ones that are returning are filling our single spots, and then the new girls are all filling in our doubles. So we're looking to build the program even more with those young kids, and we're excited that we're getting so many of those young kids out now. Coach Hanson, I think it's extremely awesome that you work out with your girls. When they're practicing, you're right alongside with them. Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about your coaching philosophy? Well, both with teaching and coaching, I think kids learn by example. And when I was young, I was brought up by coaches that actually did things with us and didn't sit and yell at us actually got out there and showed us how to do things and showed us that you can be fit your entire life and that's been my philosophy ever since I started teaching PE and, and coaching and the girls love it and it seems to inspire them to do their best and challenge them and we have our little quirks that we compete against each other and it's still fun for me, it keeps me young and, and I would get really bored if I did not do so, so I enjoy it. Coach Hanson, thank you so much. It was really nice to see you again. Um, you know, good luck with you the rest of the season. I know you and your girls are going to do phenomenal. Well, thank you. I appreciate you having us. Also joining us on today's show, folks, is the captain of the tennis team, Melissa Grounds. Yes, hi. How are you? Awesome. How are you doing? Good. Awesome. So why don't you tell all the viewers at home how, Melissa, you got involved in the tennis program? Okay, well, I originally did it to keep in shape. I did volleyball, and I thought volleyball and tennis were 
pretty much related to each other. And I just really wanted to be in shape. And Hanson is my favorite coach here. I've known her since I was seven. So I just thought doing tennis with her would be a really fun experience. Now, Melissa, I understand last year you played number one singles, and this year you're playing number two singles. Tell me a little bit about the difference between last year and this year. Well, it's not that much different. I think I'm, I'm much more comfortable this year. Also because when I played number one singles last year, I always asked my opponent, how long have you been playing tennis? About nine years. Oh, nine, okay. <laughs> and I've only been playing for two and a half months. So I, I think playing number two singles, I have more a chance of becoming a better player by playing with my own level. Now, Melissa, you're halfway through your season. Tell me, what are you doing individually to prepare yourself mentally and physically for the tournaments coming up? Well, physically, I like to do my own workout at home. Like last weekend, I do jump rope to work out my agility and my speed. I also like to run from the top of my driveway and run across the street and then back across the street and back about 10 times just to work on my speed. And mentally, what I like to do is get a good night's sleep. I always like to make sure I get a good eight or nine hours. Lately, I've also been eating extremely healthy and eating like six or seven fruits a day. And I always have home cooked meals that my mom makes at night. Melissa, I am so intrigued with student athletes and I just like to let all of the folks know watching what it is that you guys do to make sure you keep your academics up so that you can come out and compete week in and week out. See, our team, we're like a family. We all like to help each other. Math isn't my strongest subject, but I have like five players on the team that always help me with math. We got our long bus rides. We go to Sterling next week to our bus ride, so get some homework done and get all of our grades caught up. Uh, I think grades are also very important. Get some scholarships because that's what most colleges look at, is to get, have good grades and also be a great athlete. Melissa, it was an honor to meet you. Thank it's you. Nice to meet you too. Absolutely, thank you so much for taking time out of your practice and good mm -hmm. luck the rest of the season. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Folks, this is Melissa Grounds. I'm Dolly Fonseth. Stick around, we're gonna wrap up the extra point right after this. Welcome back to the show, folks. Don't forget to tune in next week for another exciting edition of The Extra Point. Would you like to know where we're going to be? Well, stay tuned and find out. I know you've got a favorite team, so why don't we take a look at their schedule and we'll see where they're going to be. Folks at home, I want to remind you how extremely hard these girls work in the classroom so they can come out here and compete week in and week out. I want to send a message to all students watching. You guys stay focused, put academics first, and I promise you success is going to follow you absolutely every step of the way.
Now folks at home, we want to hear from you at the extra point. That's right, and all you need to do is slide in front of your computer and send us an email. You can send your emails to rnorwood at greeleyschools.org. Again, that's rnorwood at greeleyschools.org. Give us some feedback, whether you like the show, had any suggestions, opinions, anything that you want to send to us, we'll read it on air and you'll be a local celebrity for a day. So send us an email. And while you're in front of your computer, you can check out the extra point if you go to www.greeleyschools.org. Again, that's www.greeleyschools.org. Click on the link video and there you'll find us the extra point. I want to take this time to thank the Northridge Grizzlies tennis team for letting us invade their practice. Thank you again. We greatly appreciate it. And the two guys in charge of highlights from this past week, Dean Popejoy and George Oberleitner, thank you so much. They were great highlights. I'm sure you agree, folks. And the man behind the camera right now who week in and week out is always out here making sure the extra point is what it is. Brian Safey, thank you so much. And folks at home, we appreciate you watching because without you, we wouldn't have a show. My name's Dolly Fonseth. Again, don't forget to tune in next week for another exciting edition of The Extra Point.